In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can get started with React by creating your first React project. So open up your terminal and I'm going to go ahead and jump onto desktop because I do want to create a React application on desktop. And then I can go ahead and execute the command npx create React app and then the name of the project that I want to create. So I'm just going to call it Hello React, but this can be anything that you want. Now you may have already used NPM, which is Node Package Manager. NPX is a little bit different from NPN because NPM, Node Package Manager, is used to install the packages globally, while NPX is the tool that is used to execute the packages, and the packages used by NPM are installed globally, so you have to care about the all the packages that are there in your repository for the long-term basis. But packages that are used by NPX are not really installed globally, so you can always think about that, okay, if they're not installed, so they're not really polluting my application. And if you simply search for NPX versus NPM, you will get all of that stuff that I just said, which is taken from geeks for geeks.org. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. And this is going to take a little bit of time to create your Hello React project. And it's going to download a lot of different dependencies that are required for your React project. And since I was on the desktop and we configured that, hey, we want to create the project on the desktop, you can see that it has created a folder called Hello React right on the desktop. And you can see that all the dependencies it's downloading and it's installing all the stuff for you, it's fetching all the packages and it's installing all the different packages. So we'll just wait for this to be finished. And once it is finished, there we go. So it's actually finished and it gives you the instructions at the end also that if you want to start your server, uh, you can say yarn start. Uh, yarn is also a package manager, just like NPM. So you can use yarn, but you can also use NPM. So now let's go ahead and jump into the Hello React folder because right now you can see that I'm not inside Hello React folder. I'm actually on desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and CD into the Hello React folder. There we go. And inside over there, I'm simply going to say NPM start. If you have yarn installed, you can also say yarn start as they have configured it over here in the documentation. So I'm going to say npm start and this is going to launch a new browser. You can see the browser is launched. And it is going to give us the default view of our application. And if you see this screen, this is an indication that your React project is installed correctly and it is working fine because this is the screen that is telling you that your React project is actually running correctly. This is a default screen. Now in the next video, I'm gonna go over the overall structure of the React application and you will see that in the end, it's only literally one single page that the React application has. And that is why they're called SPAs, uh, single page applications. So let's go ahead in the next video and learn about our structure of the app.